What are we barbecuing today? I can't wait. Here we go. Ooh, what could that be? It looks it's like, uh, so it's, exciting. It's a bag of milk. Mm, how do you put milk on a barbecue? And then inside the milk we have... Oh, wow. That looks like an alligator leg to me. So the, the best part of the alligator is the tail. Obviously, you, you hear a lot of people eat alligator in the south. The best, choicest, most tender cut is the tail. And the rest of the animal is a little bit tougher and a little bit uh, more of a stronger flavor. And so one thing you can do to, uh, to uh, soak up some of that flavor, you, you soak the thing in milk and, um, and that reduces some of the, the strong, more, more pungent sort of flavor, re relaxes the flavor of the meat a little bit, if you will. Okay. So then uh, we just put them on the grill and grill them gently. Yep. Let's go off to the grill. All right, I think we're going to want to be really careful about how we cook these. Probably no searing is going to be involved because the, the arms are already skinned. So It's a thick piece of meat, so it's yeah. going to take a while. I, I wouldn't be uh, surprised if this might be one of the rare situations where I'm willing to put the lid down on the barbecue. It wouldn't be a bad idea. That would be a little more like roasting it and yeah. cook it a little more evenly. Without the skin, we're worried that the meat is going to dry out a lot. And uh, so we want to be careful about not losing all the juicy tenderness of the meat. This alligator is looking tasty. That looks terrific. What's the temperature inside there? Uh, inside the, uh, the grill is uh, 300 right now. So we think they're ready. Uh, now I'm thinking that if I was going to serve one of these, that I'd cut the claw off it. I would cut the claw off it. And partly because the, uh, the burning skin, we think, is kind of ha has a little strange odor. Right. And uh, probably be more pleasant smelling yeah. and to it's, barbecue. It's exotic that. with the hand, but I think more palatable without. Okay, let's bring them here. Okay. Welcome to our fine restaurant, sir. Mmm, if only would you, you serve gator claws. Yes, would you like your gator with the hand or without the hand? I prefer no hand on my uh, gator. Thank you. There you are. I'm also a, a handless gator enjoyer. Does that mean you have no hands or you prefer gators with no hands? Really? You're taking that little piece? It smells just like pork. That's very interesting. Okay, I guess we just dig in anywhere here, yeah. huh? Now, I, I was kind of expecting this to be a little sinewy. Now look at this. A fair amount of juice coming out of here. Oh yeah. Look, that's a beautiful piece of meat right there. This reminds me of cutting into a turkey leg. You know, just like a uh, any kind of dark meat turkey leg, a big piece of meat right there. And I would say, this doesn't remind me of fish at all. Like, remember, remember the crocodile was uh, like a cross between fish and chicken? This part of the alligator is like a cross between uh, pork and turkey. Definitely a turkey flavor. Yep. Which I guess they say chicken. And chicken and turkey are similar. But that's fine. That's really good. It is tough though. That's what they said about the, the rest of the gators. It's tough. And this is a little bit, it's not real tender meat. It's not bad. I've, I've had pork uh, that was tougher than this. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, it's perfectly fine. I say good. It's different. This is like having a piece of dark meat chicken with a turkey taste in it. And, and a little uh, pork taste. It, it certainly makes a, a memorable serving if uh, you're giving your barbecue guests the, the alligator legs with the claws on. Mm -hmm. They will not forget that barbecue. Yeah. So this All is right. a, a pretty exotic barbecue, I would say. It is. This is, yeah, one of the most exotic we've done. Neat. All right. Well, thanks for joining us at Barbecue Dragon today. 